I wanted to show y'all this that I made. It's a deer skull possessed of the Goetic Jinn or demon fur fur. But I wanted to show y'all this. There's like a swarm of moths out here. this uh, sitting out here to charge in the rain because it's storming it's kind of died down now but uh, I wanted to charge this in the storm because fur fur is a gen spirit that rules and controls Storm, lightning, rain, thunder, all of that. So I wanted to have this out here charging in the storm. I made this last night. And it also rained and stormed last night when I made it. And I did the proper ritual evocation and all of that. Uh, on it. And then, since it's storming again today, I decided to set it out here. And just let it absorb. A bunch of the rain energy. And now since then, it's been thundering a lot more. And these moths are just swarming out here. Now, if y'all don't know this already, demons and spirits are not like humans, okay? They don't have a specific body that they're tied to. They're non-physical beings and entities. So how they manifest when you work with them is that they will actually manifest in different situations and scenes and scenarios that play out in your life when you're working with them okay for example furfur rules and controls storms and lightning and thunder also too furfur can reveal to you knowledge of the divine and all hidden and secret things. And also too, Furfur can cause love between men and women. Okay. So, how can that manifest? In your life. When you work with Furfur, storms will manifest. That is the spirit, that is the demon, that is the jinn manifesting. They don't take a body, okay? 
they manifest in that way. Now, of course, when you evoke that spirit and get it to uh, work with it in a triangle where you're trying to evoke it to physical appearance, that can happen to you, okay? If you need to talk with the spirit and stuff like that. That's how it would be, for instance, with Furfur, if you are trying to gain information from him. Some people call Furfur a female. It does have a feminine energy, as I have understood it. So I like to call Furfur in the feminine vernacular. So I'll be saying her. But, um... She does have a fiery masculine aspect to her energy at the same time. Anyway, that's beside the point. The purpose and power of this totem that I made, this ritual relic here, is for the kind of divination aspect of for first power, okay? So that is knowing knowledge of the divine and the secret and hidden things. I evoked in the ritual triangle and possessed her spirit into this item. Okay, into this deer skull. For that purpose. It's also just for working with Fripper in general though, so that's why I went ahead and charged it in the storm like I did today. And with all these moths swarming, it's kind of funny because if you look up the symbolism of moth, look up moth totem, they can represent hidden and secret things. They can also represent love between a man and woman attraction between the genders so I thought that was interesting and y'all know how I am I like to document this kind of stuff on my YouTube channel so I just thought this would be interesting to share I did make this to sell okay I work with Furfur quite often in my personal practice okay when it comes to the Gwesha spirit I like working with Furfur and certain other ones, but Furfur is none of the main ones I work with. And uh, yeah, so I felt comfortable making this for another magician to use, another way to work with the energy as I do. Okay, I wanted to share that with you guys. I will be coming back with some more videos for y'all. I got some requests, so I'll be doing those next. Bust and be. Hail to the witches.